now gives me great pleasure to introduce the chair of the Brain Forum Board of Foundation. She has been uh, very interested and has a keen interest in the human brain, which she has developed through her own studies in psychology and sociology, and her involvement in various programs to promote health, medicine, social welfare, and education, including setting up the Health Centre in Jeddah to provide special education for children with intellectual disabilities. Please give a very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mrs. Suad Jafali. Well done. Thank you. Do you want me to take your stick? You? Okay. Yes, let me take that. Thank you. Thank you, Natasha, for the be beautiful introduction. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Brain Forum of 2016. Last January, I received a letter. This letter came from my son. <laughs> Walid Jafali, founder of the Brain Forum, which touched me with beautiful words and a deep, moving gesture. I'm sorry for my emotions. In his letter, he asked me to look after one of his greatest and most passionate causes while he recovers from a very unfortunate illness. Walid has graciously asked me to fill his place in chairing the board of the Brain Forum Foundation. Of course, I was humbled by his request and could not resist but to accept his noble gesture. God bless you, Walid. As you may know, the Brain Forum was founded as part of the W Science Initiative to help transform and to promote the field of brain research. To quote Walid, the scientific exploration of the human brain is fundamental for answering the challenges of the 21st century. Today, I'm, honoring, I'm honored, really, to chair this platform and carry on Walid's vision of furthering our understanding of what makes us human. <clears throat> Each and every one of us will stand to benefit from the advancement of brain research. We cannot predict the future, but we can drive ourselves towards a better one. We are here to make connections and to explore ideas as our goal is to broaden the interest in brain science and highlight its significance. During the past years, there have been dramatic advances in brain science with, for example, the realization of brain-machine interfaces that would help people with physical disabilities, and deep brain stimulation, which has been revolutionary in Parkinson's disease, and is showing now great promises in many other neurological conditions. But despite all these achievements, brain disorder still account for approximately 35% of the burden of all diseases and are becoming a major priority, uh, medical priority worldwide. <clears throat> the more we learn, the more questions will arise. The big question for us, however, is how can we take advantage of science and technology to benefit mankind? Is it by providing brain science with the resources that it needs and encouraging creativity and open collaboration? Or can we create a more supportive environment through policies and regulations and help business play a role in brain research? How can we give startups and young entrepreneurs a voice and promote data transparency but protect our right to privacy? And lastly, how can we change the lives of the next generation to the better and give everyone a fair chance in life? There are but a few questions, these are but a few questions that need to be addressed to get us a step closer to our vision. We are all stakeholders in benefiting from and contributing to the adv advancements of brain research. And so, dear Walid, thank you. Thank you for creating the Brain Forum, and thank you for the confidence you have placed in me 
to continue this great initiative and raise the world's awareness as well as future generations to the importance of brain science. Finally, while I'm still standing here, I take this opportunity to express my sincere appreciations to the board of directors, the advisory board, the committees, and all the team that has worked so hard to make this event possible. And lastly, and my sincere gratitude go extends to our sponsors, really, and partners, who, without their support, this event would never have taken place. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once again to the Brain Forum 216 and wish you a stimulating and enjoyable two days. And thank you so much.